I do not reveal that. Uh, so if the moon is approximately 50 feet, I think, 30 yeah, okay. to 50 feet mm -hmm. from here, this would be, to this scale, a mile away. Show us where the International Space Station is, Hubble, et cetera. Where oh, we okay, so if the Earth were actually mm -hmm. this, uh, this size, uh, the International Space Station would be orbiting about a half an inch above the surface. And that dude who jumped out of a perfectly good balloon, um, <laughs> what's his name? Felix! Felix Bumgardner, uh, he would have been about two millimeters above the surface of this globe. That's his edge of space jump. <laughs> now, so, you know, I, I don't, it's fine. He wants to, I don't have a problem if he does it, but the, the honesty of it would greatly diminish what I think people thought he was actually doing. And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide-angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. Right. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's surface, and he said, wow, he's in space, look at that. No, he's not. At that height, you don't see, you don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. <laughs> it is, he just don't. <laughs> that stuff is flat. And then I showed examples of wide-angle lenses curving horizontal. I tweeted that.